this meeting to order 901 and um, we have no changes to the consent agenda today that I'm aware of you know so let's uh, please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands one nation under God indivisible with liberty and justice for all. It's a lot of pressure having to lead that every week. Like, what if I forget the words or something? Then, all right, Commissioner Zimmerman. Oh no! I first, I got to do public comment. Sorry, I was ready to jump to you. Public comment, Mr. Yes. Beamer. You guys received your email about the new Stratton. What you wrote, Stratton was hired by the VOCC through the bin put out by the prosecuting attorney's office and Jim Casey was the calling contact. Stratton has completed the survey map that was presented to the VOCC this past February 1. My wife informed Stephanie Featherstone about seeing the map that encroachments were missing from the White's property area and that asked the map, that the map be corrected. That was all part of the contract. Mm -hmm. He did do all of it. Stephanie told my wife that she would pass along to the VOCC. I do not believe that has happened. Currently, staff of Stratton and billed $6,000 of an approved $8,000 contract. There has been no monument set or anything permanent. Now, the Rose Department feel they need to have further meetings with Stratton to answer the questions Stratton asked and has denied my wife's request to attend this meeting. Stratton should not have any questions. His job was to survey, and he's done his job so far, and there's nothing the Willis Department has to do. The next step is the DOCC reviewing the, the at least four year old encroachment complaint. The road department may have recommendations for the DOCC, but they do not have the contract to have meetings with surveyors to make decisions. My question is, is the road, Roads Department is going to meet with Stratton and going to come and give you guys recommendations. I have questions about whether they have the experience and the knowledge down there to be doing that. Thank you. Okay. Duly noted. Any further comments? Not till the end. Not till the end. Any public comments? No. No public comments. All right. Old business uh, consideration of the minutes. Uh, have you had a chance to look at the minutes? Yes. Okay, uh, entertain a motion. Motion to approve last week's minutes. Seconded. Any discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Minutes from last week are approved, and good job on the minutes, I'd say. Mm -hmm. Doing a nice job. Yeah. New business, beer, wine, and liquor licenses, we have one. And so that is for the Uphill Grill and McKin and on McKinley and Kellogg. Any discussion there? No. Okay. Uh, payables, we've reviewed the payables this week. Any discussion on payables? No. Okay, none. Ambulance district payables, I uh, did not see them this week. No, I didn't either. Okay, I think that we, last week was the last one that we saw. Cancellations and homeowners and cancellations are uh, none today. And then we have grants permission letter. Is that the what we're calling the one with Colleen? Grants permission letter. And this is a reissue of a... A uh, letter that was given under the previous board, just been reworded to reword, and this is uh, granting authority to the grants administrator to apply for grants at her discretion without prior approval. So, would you help us understand what the how that works? Like, if we see a grant we want, you we can ask you to apply for that. Absolutely. This just gives you the ability to give me your words. So. It only gives me the authority to apply for grants. It still has to come before the board if we are accepted for any of those grants. Um, that just, <clears throat> excuse me, like on grants.gov, I can attach that that says you guys have granted me the authority to go ahead and apply for this in the county's name. And then, you know, if there's anything that formal comes to that, it still has to go through your approval. But otherwise, it would be the process of, you know, some of these are pretty quick turnaround ones coming in, getting your approval for every grant that I want to apply for, whether it's going to go through or not. So um, it it's just a time saving kind of thing that says if I see something great and if you guys see something there's oh well good this has this is due on Friday. Go. <laughs> and so we can apply for it, but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's binding by any means if it 
the award is accepted, then it goes through all the process. Yeah, and the letter states, if awarded, final approval will be reviewed and yeah. approved or rejected by the board. Yep. So, any discussion or questions? No, I think that's a good idea. Instead of coming to us every time you want to apply <laughs> and then you don't get the grant and then we, you know, so I right. understand that. Yeah. Okay. And I'll still vote you every time and say, hey, I got this one. Yeah. Move forward just so you know. Very negative. <laughs> Well, I would move that we approve the letter. I'll second it. Okay. Any further discussion? No. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. So we've taken care of that item of business. Took care of that item of business. Uh, let's see. Letter of support request for Idaho Broadband Grant application. And this is the one that we uh, met with uh, Jessica. Was it like? Christina. 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 Okay, the letter is to Jessica, so that's where I got okay. that. And this is the uh, uh, that we're supporting their grant application, uh, which the county has no. We have no other grants going forward in that area, right? No, we are not competing against them. This would in be that a grant. partner. They're going to do. This is the capital project fund for the state of Idaho. So they're they're doing portions of that and then we're doing next ones. So this is the follow up to our meeting with her with, with Zipley, Zipley and, Zipley. and this is this is their own grant. They're putting they're putting money their own money towards it. They're getting a grant on their own. So correct. Yeah. And we are encouraging them to get the grant and spend the money in Shoshone County by this yep. by this letter. Yeah, any movement would care to make a move? A motion to approve the letter um, approving that they get a grant for Zipley Fiber. Okay. Uh, I'll second that. Any discussion on the issue? No. All in favor? Aye. Aye. So that is approved. All right. Then we have the Weed Advisory Committee letter uh, that says the county commissioners have agreed to appoint the following to the Shoshone Noxious Weed Control Advisory Committee. Jeremy Kleinsmith from the Forest Service, Jennifer Roman, Roman from the ISDA, and Dyer Frank from the U.S. Forest Service. Um, so this is that that letter that would appoint those. Any discussion on that or no? Thoughts? Okay. Um, care to make a motion? Uh, motion approve the letter to um, appoint these appoint three. Those three. Yep. Okay. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Motion is carried. We will appoint those three to the noxious weed. Madam, I'm surprised you didn't apply for that one. I mean, you are, you're deaf on weeds. You're deaf on weeds. I know you're the professional weed killer up there, Bert. So, all right. Uh, we have no indigent cases. We have public comment. Second round. Mr. Beaner. Yeah. So on uh, 930 meeting, uh, the, Former prosecutor had this taken off. You would have an action item with no description of what you're going to take action on, which I do have the email for that. On the monthly the month of meeting. meeting. If I'm understanding, you're saying it shouldn't be an action item. Not on here because you don't delineate what you're going to take action on. Right. And we don't take action at those anyway. Right. But it still shouldn't be listed. Okay. okay. Good point. So let's for. Unless you have a problem with that, I'd say we just quit putting action item by the um, uh, department head meetings. I agree. Okay, so we'll just we'll just not put action item on department head meetings. Those are a general update session anyway, so we have no need for that. Any other comment? Yes, and one other problem with the monthly department head meetings is you get in trouble by the old commissioners finally started making the department head send in what they were going to talk about. So you don't know, have the option that you talk about something in a meeting that you're going to talk about the next day and vote on. You understand that? And why couldn't we if it's in a public because, meeting? Because you're not, it's not specified that's what you're going to talk about. And, hmm. and I think Regal told them that too. Like I said, they used to send it in a week before and then the the old commission as you go through it, make sure nothing is going to be talked about that is going to come in front of them later. Okay, I agree. That would sort of defeat the purpose of the meeting sometimes, though. I mean, we're there to hear about what's going on that we may not well, know I, is coming up. I do have to say this. It was about a month ago, Colin came in and talked about something in the department head meeting, and there was a meeting about it the next day on the consent, I believe. Okay. 
So there was no discussion, except for the day before, when you buy one team to the department and I went and had third inning discussion. Okay, see your point. All right, so we need to talk to our attorney and see what we can, what we should and could be doing about that problem without destroying the purpose of the department head meeting, which is to get the update information on our departments. Good point. Thank you. Last and, one. Oh, you have a third. Yeah, the broadband group. Is that a advisory board or not? Yeah. Okay, because some of the stuff is coming in front of you as like a little advisory board would do. Okay. Not today. I'm not saying today. Okay. Okay. Uh, and do you have any public comment? Well, I <laughs> uh, On the Zipri letter, looking through the maps that they're going to do, I'm excited that they're including the transfer station and part of their build this time. <laughs> if, if they get the grant. Correct. Okay. And in theory, they will anyway, but that has been excluded. And Kevin Sinogatrick has been diligent about bugging them about it, the issues that they're having out there. So their little, their Montgomery bill, they did this little job to include the, the transfer station. Yay. <laughs> That's a little victory. Get the transfer station in, included in broadband. Okay. Thank you for your comments. Uh, Commissioner, do you have anything else you want to bring up? No. Okay. All right. Then this meeting is adjourned until our next meeting in 